Good morning, everybody. Well, you got the raw deal here today. I either have to be crazy, but definitely brave to come on here and without makeup and do a tutorial on how I apply my makeup for everybody. So I am an esthetician. I am a former spa owner. I own the Premier Day Spa here in my area for 20 years, and I have since retired. So I have a lot of time on my hands. So this is Busy Bee Retiree checking in with everybody. So let's see what the buzz is today. Here we go. So I started out, I just got out of the shower. So I started out and I <clears throat> put vitamin E with my moisturizer uh, on my skin. I always do that if I'm using a liquid foundation. If I'm doing a powder, I do the moisturizer after I put my mineral powder on. So, but today I'm doing the liquid. So, and this is tripology. So I just do a little pad here and there. Just do a little pad. I got freckles. So not that I, I, I love my freckles, nothing wrong with them. But also with this age of mine, <laughs> yeah, I just celebrated a big birthday. They're all big to me. I'm just grateful and have an attitude of gratitude to just still be alive and enjoy life, which is so precious. We all need to embrace that. So I do. I try my best. That's for sure. Keep a positive mind. Everybody always, always keep a positive mind. So this is a nice light. I think it comes from France. I, I don't sponsor it or anything. So I just watched other people and I kind of thought, well, let me try that. And I like it. I like it for now. I, I change up all the time. As you know, I, I well, you, some people know I did own the spa. So I have a ton of resources at my fingertips. So that was the foundation. So now we just need a little bit of color to those cheeks. I keep it simple. So I'm just going to do a few little pats here. Okay, and this is my Jane Iredell that I used to sell in my spa. And I love Jane Iredell products. They're all mineral. So we're just going to blend that in. And now you want to take it up above. You want to go up above. Do like a little C. Take it up in. And when you put your foundation on, don't forget to go into the hairline. You know. So just blend it. little kiss here, a little kiss there. Just blend, Okay. Then after that, I and I also used Eminence Skin Care at my spa. So I love this one. This is their bronzer, which look at this thing. Is this so cool? It's got the brush built in. The, the powder is down in here. You just pump it, and it comes up into the, the bristles of the brush. So I like to just do a few little strokes underneath here, a few little strokes underneath here. And again, go up here into that hairline, across the top, down along the nose line, around the mouth, under the chin. That's it. Fill it up for the next time, okay? So then, um, I like to take a bigger brush and I like to just blend everything out. Close the lid, blend it out. That way, if you have any oils on your lids. Summertime, I don't use, uh, well, at my age, too, as you get mature skin, you really do a lot less than what you used to do. So, and then I like, again, the Eminence, and this is the transparent loose powder. Works the same way, so just pump it in and fluff it on. Just fluff it on. And I'll tell you what, this mineral makeup, it just becomes your skin once you do your toner. So there's that. So, so I got all the makeup on that I want. So now I'm going to set that. And that's what you do with the toner. And I use this one right now. I used to use my Jane Iredell. Again, love those products. Um, so anyway, I just pump this on. Don't overdo it. Doesn't need much. I usually do three to five. That's it. And then I like to kind of like stroke my eyebrows and then go up into my hairline and make sure that there's no line of demarcation anywhere. 
Okay, that's that. And then this comes from London, England. And so I like to take this and go right down the nose to give it that nice little sheen. Okay, and then I'll put a little bit right here just for a little highlight. Again, I'm not going to wear blush, or I'm sorry, I'm not going to wear uh, any eyeshadow. <clears throat> Don't need to right now. If I were going out, <clears throat> excuse me, if I were going out for the evening and it was a special occasion, I would put some on. Not that I won't wear it, okay? And then I'm going to use this pencil. And I'm just going to go in here and fill in my eyebrows, go up to the point, and then come down. So here's how an eyebrow should be shaped. You take a pencil and you lay it alongside the outside nostril, and that's where you're to the inside of your eye, and that's where your eyebrow should start. Then it goes up to a point to the outside of your iris, or I'm sorry, your pupil, and then it, the point, and then it comes down, okay? So let's do it again over here on this side. Again, just filling in, because sometimes, and I like to stay on the upper side, not so much the lower side for those eyebrows. Make sure this is even across here and here, and it looks like it is. And then I wind that down. Then this one has a little brush on the back side, so I just do maybe about five or six strokes to follow it and blend it out so you don't see any of the marks. That's it. Okay, keep it simple. And then after I do all of that, then I always like to put on the lipstick at this point. So again, back to my Jane Iredale, what can I say? It's a uh, mineral lipstick. This is called Lip Fixation. And so, this is a lip stain. So this was gonna stay on and last quite a while. So we're gonna, we're gonna let that dry up a little bit, okay? So that before I do anything else to the lips. So now at this point, I've got all my, my makeup on except my eyes makeup. So now I'm gonna set my makeup. And, okay, and now for the eyes. Okay, for me, let me, I lost my eye pencil. Let me get it. Forgot to get that little thing out. I carry a uh, makeup bag with me all the time, so I keep it in makeup bag. So I've always got everything at my fingertips, so I just forgot to pull this one out. So this is just an eye pencil, okay? So I just go in here on the inside and just go back and forth. And then here, I'm just gonna go just on top of the, where the lashes come out. Not underneath, not inside on the waterline. Just where the lashes come out. Just to give it a little bit of a line. That's it. And then you can always just kind of double check it and make sure you didn't go too far there. And then after this dried, I'm going to go back to that little highlighter that I have. And I always like to have just a little, a little dot in the center. Like that. And then I take another liquid one for moisturizer. and just simply apply it. It's that simple. Now, for the mascara right now, I'm using two of them. Um, 
So whatever, whichever mascara you, you want and like. Okay, so here we go. When I had my spa, I had a, a heated eyelash curler. It was really nice. It was from Blink, B-L-I-N-C. I sold a bunch of those because they really worked. But again, when you're out of the business, you know. But those other kind of curlers for your eyelashes, uh, they just don't seem to work for me. I do have eyelashes, but they never show up until I put mascara on them. It's like I almost don't have any eyelashes, but I do. I just have to work it. My daughters and my granddaughter, oh my goodness, they have beautiful eyelashes. Beautiful. Long, standout eyelashes they have. Okay, that was that one. Now I'm going to go back and I'm going to put on um, a mascara that is waterproof. Because it just kind of kind of gives it, if you will, a little more stiffness to it, to them. So it kind of keeps them up there for me a little bit. I don't know. I think they need to come out with a, a mascara that's got some kind of spray in it. <laughs> Healthy. I don't know if that's even possible. But something, because once you, you ever notice when you put your mascara on, how the lashes just look long and luscious and everything, but midday they they like they start falling down again it's like why can't we have like a you know like we have hairspray for our hair why can't we have something in the mascara that helps them keep that shape when you're applying it and i just go into the corners i don't i don't really go underneath uh, in the bottom lashes because the liner kind of showed them off. So that's it. That's it. That's it, gang. That's it. Okay. So then take this mess down and just give it a shimmy and a shake. And I have some uh, seawater mixed with just regular water that I will spritz these things because this is all natural, all natural. And uh, sometimes I just take and clamp them up with my clips. And then when it's dry and I take them down, it's like voila, you know, curls. So that's it, my friends. Good enough. Good enough for me. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that. So, uh, again, I, I, I'm, I'm not selling any of these products. So, you know, you do whatever you do with your makeup. You know, use what you want. Uh, I would say the most important thing is, is to always start out with a nice, clean skin and make sure you're exfoliating at least once a week. you got to get rid of the dead skin cells because the dead skin cells is what makes your skin look dull and you want a nice, radiant look. You don't want a greasy look. You want um, a, a clean, crisp, radiant look. And that's what exfoliating the skin does and hydrating the skin. Take care of your skin. It's the largest organ of the body. So anything you put on it, it's going to get absorbed into your body. So be careful what you use. All right. So I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you learned something. Leave me comments. Give me likes. Subscribe to my uh, Busy Bee Retiree channel on YouTube. And uh, hope to see you soon. Bye.